This is a video for those folks who have a sketch. It looks pretty good, uh, but you're missing those last 37 points, the clear feature. So this is the sound of me hitting the keyboard. Nothing's happening, nothing that I can see. Uh, and it also, there's no clear feature on this. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, with this code here. Um, so we're going to close this, and then I'm going to pull up a student who has it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. This person has, if any key press will reset, fill with squares. So click, you know, I might say click to fill with squares, you know, change the text a little bit. Uh, but I can draw with this. I can unclick and move my cursor around. Nothing happens. Click again, and then if I hit the keyboard, it clears. If any key press will reset. And I'll look through the code here. So void draw, if mouse press fill, rectangle. That's what's happening here. Clicking the mouse. That's what's there. If key pressed, true, then background, fill, text, fill, square. So it's redrawing the text and filling the background. But it does it top down. So it fills the background first, then it fills the text. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy paste this little chunk of code right here. Copy. Uh, and we are going to put it into this other um, this other sketch. So I'm just going to paste it right there. Uh, I'm going to close this down, and then I'm going to run this code. So here it is. Okay, so there's Riley. Here's this, and then I'm going to hit a key. It does it. So it actually, it's redoing the text, and it's making the text, it's getting the text size from here. So if I wanted to get this code, reduce the size, uh, and do it here. Uh, and then I would do reduce so we can make it smaller. Cool, so here's the thing again. Here's this. The mouse feature still works. I hit the keyboard and I'm holding the space bar. Cool, and that's the reset. So it's, it's that easy. Um, you can find this code. You can copy paste it. You could get someone who solved the problem to email you their code. Uh, if you have something that uses the keyboard as well, what you may have to do is right here where it says key press true, you'll have to attribute a particular key to the clear function. So not just any key. This is any key true. It does this bit of code. Uh, so that won't solve the problem for you if you have something key bound. Um, anyway, that's how you fix it.